All right, this is a full walkthrough video showing off exactly what I have set up to make the motor spin. So I have the Unitech Bamocar D3 700-400 RS inverter connected to our MRAX 228 high voltage liquid cooled motor. We have it powered by two separate isolated power supplies that are capable of up to 10 amps at 32 volts. Currently I'm running the logic systems on the inverter at 20 volts and it's drawing about seven watts total. So that's going through this line up through this connector into the inverter to power all of its logic systems. We then have the second power supply that is actually powering the drivetrain system. That's the drivetrain voltage up at 32 volts. So that's going through these wires down into the inverter itself through these holes. And then the inverter is performing the DC to AC switching, which then goes through these three purple wires that go to the motor. The configuration of these wires relative to the motor, is, sorry, relative to the inverter, is important. Um, there is a UVW configuration. You can find that on the data sheets for the inverter and the motor. Okay, and then finally we have our feedback system set up. So this is the resolver that tells us the position of the motor. So it is right now being shielded with aluminum foil because we don't have actual shielding wires. But so that system goes over into this connector, which is the feedback connector in the inverter, which is then able to read the position of the motor. And then finally, through this last connector, this is an RS-232 connection. And that goes down through a bunch of adapters and is then plugged into my laptop. My laptop, <clears throat> then I am running M Drive, which has this configuration of settings and is able to work successfully. I should note that F nominal does not matter. That is a specific value that we have reconfigured. Okay, so the last thing is that currently I am using this switch. This switch is acting as our enable or run switch. So you see, when I take the switch and I turn it, the drive becomes live and it's starting to actually pull attractive voltage. Very little, but it is currently live. It shows that it's actually live. See how it says go and run? And you see the switch is specifically in this position when it is active, meaning the slip click down, meaning these two are connected together. Okay, now the last thing is that when I want the motor to spin, what I can do is I go into here and you see down in the bottom left corner how it says test. Right now I have it on speed setting, so it will test to a certain speed. All I have to do is enter a value. Here I've entered a thousand, and then I just click plus and it will go. So here I click plus, you see it spins. And it can go and go and go, and you see the, the power is clearly getting pulled, and you see the value being displayed here is just about correct. So that's good. And then if I want to stop it, I can just click that, and then boop, it stops very quickly, and you'll see it'll do this little wiggle thing. It means we have a time of tuning left to do. You see, if I want it to go the other direction, I can likewise press the negative button and it'll spin in the other direction. And then I go back and I press stop. Okay, cool. And it stops and does its wiggle thing again. And then that's the whole setup. And then when I'm done with my test, you see, I go back to here and I say, okay, cool. I'm gonna turn off the systems. I can press the switch again and I can click it off and the system turns off. And that's it. That's the entire configuration.